What's going on this time? Do you think the markets, which rose 10% in the last shutdown, are going to be able to do it again? God forbid if we get another shutdown? You know, Brian, D.C. feels like a place we're just in desperate need of adult supervision from somewhere. It's Groundhog Day. And and, and the children. Bill Murray. I, it, we saw him over the weekend, didn't we? I think he was out playing with, with Kernan. With Kernan, yeah. Exactly, I think, where he was. Yeah. But uh, uh, it was a great tournament. By, so uh, Washington is back at it, and nobody wants to agree. And somehow they think there's a political win in this. It certainly doesn't seem to be for a lot of workers who may be out of work again. Uh, and that's not, you know, helpful to the economy. And yet markets in, in general really haven't cared. So, you know, as we're looking forward to the week, we are looking to trade. We're seeing futures up this morning back on trade. And, and I've been listening to the show this morning, too. Uh, you know, Brian, I think that uh, we are reaching that point in markets where they are slowing to meet a slowing growth, which I don't think is awful. It's clear that growth is slowing. But if we have a 6 or 7% year this year, I, after all of the run we've had, I don't think that would be awful. 6 or 7% more from what we've already gained or 6 and, percent, 6 and 7% return for the year? Because, by the way, Michael, we've already gotten that. The Dow Industrials are up 8% this year. Yeah, I know. And I think if we ended up right here, I'd probably sign off on it right now, given what we have. When you look at what we have to do from the fundamentals, so we're up at that 16 or 16 and a half times earnings range. We're back to normal. We've come off those 14 and a half, 14 and a half times earnings lows. Uh, we're down from 19 and a half times earnings. This feels kind of normal. And as markets anticipate future growth, I think that modest future growth could sustain levels here. I think it provides a healthy, organic base for stocks uh, going forward. But, uh, you know, a a robust takeoff year or or to the moon year doesn't feel like it. But it doesn't feel like the bottom's going to fall out either. What's the next most important thing that you will have your eyes on, Michael? I, I, well, I'm sorry, Brian, there too. Uh, clearly the Chinese trade talks, and this is something that can be resolved. I mean, this is something that I think is ultimately at some point going to cause markets to rally this year. I think that turns into a positive. Brexit is probably the thing that could be turning into the next biggest mm-hmm. surprise. If we get a refen- referendum back to the Britons and they vote not to Brexit, which I think they're going to do, then I think markets really take off again. So after yeah. just giving you my ho-hum 8% forecast, I'm giving you two reasons that things could go significantly higher. We like the op-